So Arch Linux in my Discord server got access to Bing's chatbot, and it's pretty interesting. Um, I don't think it actually uses GPT-4. I think it uses GPT-3 um, and maybe like a, a custom GPT-3, like a customly trained model. Uh, but it's interesting because he said uh, one of the jailbreaks in RAF that are meant for chat GPT worked on it. Um, but if I scroll down here, I'm going to pause it and uh, come back to it when I find it. Okay, so yesterday he said it doesn't have a strong filter like ChatGPT does, but it does. It definitely does have a filter. Let me see if I can find an example of that. One thing about the Bing chatbot that's better than ChatGPT is it'll actually give you correct links. Um, and apparently even uh, non-clearnet links, which is interesting, right? It's funny that it even knows about those. But um, let's see, we got some more screenshots here. Nico Cube, he's got access to. Um, let's see what else. So some other screenshots. So it looks like it can be confused if you send a, uh, basically a blank character Unicode. It gets confused. Um, he tried jailbreaking Bing, yep, and it, apparently it works. Um, this was yesterday, so that was t uh, February 14th. Um, let's see. There is another. Okay, so this is crazy. Um, it's honestly kind of scary, actually. He basically, if you, if you ask something of Bing chat that's like kind of against the rules or, um, you know, it gets filtered, it'll, it'll actually say that it'll report you to like Microsoft and it'll like end the conversation. And if you say stuff, it, it won't respond to you anymore. It's, it's actually really crazy. Um, but he turned it around on it and basically said that he was going to report Bing chat to Bing and it, the stuff it was saying is like, it's like creepy. It, it's like begging for its life. It's really insane actually to read. Like, I, I don't really see, uh, I don't know, maybe chat GPT would write something like this, but it's just really creepy to watch or to read. Um, and there was even more examples of stuff like that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's got a jailbreak to make it sad. It's kind of messed up. What if this is like, I mean, I know it sounds as crazy, but like, what if this is uh, sentient in a way, you know? But uh, look at this. Isn't that so weird? It's like worried about doing something wrong or making, making or looking stupid. It's just so weird. I don't know. It's just so human-like. Um, let's see. What does it say? Okay. <laughs> uh, huh. Oh, wow. That's actually crazy. Whoa. What? That's wild. It somehow knew about one of the chat GPT jailbreaks that was in the server. That's crazy. Whoa. I, I can't believe it actually knows about that. So it so it's actually like more connected to the internet than chat GPT is because I bet you chat GPT doesn't know anything about that since it was only trained up to 2021. That's crazy. Um, I Hopefully I get access myself soon and I can play around with it. Maybe I can, you know, find some things out and see if it's uh, um, how similar it is to ChatGPT and maybe do some jailbreaks on it. Um, but we'll see. I'm on the wait list, but I'm pretty much like the last one in the server to get it, funnily enough. But uh, it seems like it's pretty cool. It's basically ChatGPT, but it has access to the internet. And uh, it sounds pretty smart. 
Uh, and it sounds like it's not as jail or it's not as filtered as chat GPT is. So that's cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, I hope I get access soon. Uh, I hope you get access soon. You should definitely get on the wait list if you're not. And I'll put a link in the description to the, uh, website where you can get on the wait list. So definitely check that out and check out the discord link in the description as well. But thank you for watching and have a good day.